During the first 18 months of EU JAMRAI, 14 participating countries completed several activities aimed at strengthening national response against AMR. The process followed the approach developed by WHO for the monitoring and evaluation of the implementation of the international health regulations through the joint external evaluation. In preparation for country-to-country -country visits, member states firstly self-assessed their national strategies and implementation of their national action plans and conducted a SWOT analysis. Member states performed the self-assessments to evaluate their national action plans and identify gaps. The results of the self-assessment raise a number of common issues, for example, difficulties in translating surveillance data into actions, the lack of resources, the challenge of working with a One Health approach as different areas require different priorities, or difficulties with dealing responsibilities on national and regional level. Then, three pilot country-to-country -country visits were organised. Building up on the results and experiences of these activities, the methodology for the country-to-country -country visits was revised and updated. Using this methodology, expert teams of 13 EU member states visited their peers in other EU countries. The objectives of these visits were to evaluate their national action plans and One Health strategies, exchange best practices and discuss about future policy options. These country visits have demonstrated to be an effective cooperation working method that enables the identification of highly relevant common topics to discuss at European level. Country to country visits have also strengthened national responses. In Greece, for example, the visit accelerated the discussion between ministries and allowed the finalization of the One Health Greek National Action Plan, signed in 2019 by the three ministers, Health, Agriculture and Environment. Another example can be found in Germany. The planning of their five years National Action Plan was based on the results of the country to country visits and the joint external evaluation. The visits also facilitated that financing and support for evidence-based national treatment guidelines are now ongoing. One Health country visits are a driver to work on AMR within the European Union. Countries perform first the self-assessment. They analyse the results, identify the gaps and reflect internally on how to improve the national situation. The country-to-country -country visit is the second step. This external assessment offers not only a more objective evaluation, but also the possibility to exchange views and experience and discuss about policy options with another country that might have experienced similar challenges. And visited countries don't feel audited because it is voluntary. The main conclusions of these country-to-country -country visits have been summarised on an interactive microsite that visualises who visited who and provides an overview of best practices for different AMR topics. Infection, prevention and control, surveillance, One Health, governance, coordination, awareness, supervision, budget, political commitment and antimicrobial stewardship. In order to ensure the sustainability of EU JAMRAI work, we have selected several measures to be implemented into Member States' national action plans. One of them is the urgent need to establish common EU indicators and targets to monitor the progress of the implementation of each national action plan. These are crucial to ensure that all Member States reach the same level of achievements. EU JAMRAI has established the basis for a network of supervisory bodies in the human health sector. The aim of the network is to facilitate collaboration and the exchange of views and best practices about shortcomings or common problems in the implementation, evaluation and supervision of AMR activities in the national action plans. The members of the network are competent authorities, professional associations or any other institutions in the member states responsible for the control, evaluation, enforcement or supervision of AMR-related activities in the human health sector. Representatives of these authorities in different member states were interviewed to gather insights in the creation of the network. All of them highlighted the need for the establishment of a European network of supervisory bodies. The conclusions will be presented and the next steps will be further discussed within the AMR One Health Network. The result of the Jamrai project 
is that there is now a basis for a network of supervisory bodies working in the field of AMR. Given the fact that supervision or accreditation, certification or monitoring is organized differently among the participating countries, these countries seek opportunities to exchange experiences and best practices to contribute to be a driving force behind the national action plans. In this way, supervision can contribute to fight AMR even more effectively. We must acknowledge the importance of communication and coordination between European member states to tackle AMR. One of the main conclusions from the work conducted by the One Health Strategies and National Action Plan team is that there is a pressing need to enhance cooperation between member states. An extended and strengthened AMR One Health network is crucial to achieve this purpose. This step is necessary to make the EU a best practice region. We will only obtain a full impact of the EU action plan against AMR if we address all the components of the One Health transsectoral approach.